So we are in the center of Voices from the Garden. Why was this so important to complete? And why is it so important, not just for Richmond, but for all of Virginia? Well, actually, it's not even just Virginia. It's the whole country. Um, this is the only monument of this size on the grounds of a state capitol honoring women. Not just for people we've all heard of, like Martha Washington, but the unsung heroes, um, people who did something for their region or the state or their community. My mom taught at Maggie Walker, so cool to see this one for sure. The detail on this one is amazing with her furs and her, the fabric on her coat. The interesting thing about these two, they knew each other. This is Sarah Jones. Her father built Maggie Walker's house. Oh, wow. She was the first African-American to get a medical license in Virginia. And Maggie Walker, as we all know, was the first woman bank president. So if you could talk a little bit about the Wall of Honor and why this was added to the monument. We were talking about the fact that we could only do a few actual statues and what was a way to recognize other women who had made major contributions. This will hold 400 names. It's 240 now. You had to be deceased five years. You had to do something major for your area, your region, Virginia, the United States, for recognition. And there's a group now, we winnowed down the commission to like eight people, and they will meet periodically to decide who, how many names to add, who the names are. And there's a form, if you go on to the Women's Commission website, there's a form you can submit a nominee with.